Tungkol saan ba ang buhay? Ang buhay ay tungkol sa pag-antay ng kamatayan. At habang nag-aantay tayo, <laughs> eh, magpapakasaya tayo, di ba? Sayang oras. So, eto ang isa pang bagay na dagdag aliw bago tayo mawala. Bawat sandali Naaalala ang Mga pinagsaluhang ngiti At mga pagturo sa lahat ng pinangarap mo sa ating dalawa Bakit biglang nabaling na sa iba? Ang bagong CF Moto 800MT Ito? Ako Ganda! Wala pa akong na-encounter na tao na hindi pa napalingon muli at nagsabi ng Wow! Ano yan? BMW GS? Ducati Multistrada? XR1000R? Anong version yan? Honestly, hindi ko alam kung matutuwa or ma-offend ang CF Moto sa mga ganyang hirit. Pero yung mga ganyang hirit, di dapat mag-matter sa CF Moto. Yung reaksyon ng tao tapos ninasakyan ng motor ang mas matimbang. Sleeping away from me You're drifting away from me Nakakapagtaka din eh no, na wala akong comparisons na natanggap with the KTM. Nakakapagtaka dahil pareho ang makina nito sa 790 Adventure nila. Actually, kung meron may saysay na comparison power-wise, it would be with the KTM since CF Motor rin ang mga tao behind the KTM factory sa China. So kumbaga, wag na tayo magulat kung nagsishare sila ng mga pyesa at makina at resources. May relationship sila eh. Yung makina ay yung bagong salpak sa KTM 790 Adventure. Parallel twin siya with 4 valves, double overhead cam at liquid cooled. 94 horsepower po with 77 Nm and 57 pound feet of torque. Ride by wire siya, 6 speed na nagpapagulong sa 19 inch wheel sa harap at 17 sa likod. So right now, I'm going to tell you with my time with this, so far, masasabi ko sa value niya and where it's standing with all of these things na kasama sa bike, this is one of the best deals you can get out there if you're talking about an adventure bike. Before I forget, I just want to commend the lights. At the price that you're getting in this range, meron siyang parang daylight sensor. Kunyari, daylight ka, di ba? Biglang napasok ka sa tunnel. Bigla siyang iilaw. Look at what you get. May fog lamps ka na. You got wheels, spoke wheels already. So it's slapped on with max tires. That's a good thing. Skid plate. So it is off-road friendly. Protecting your manifold. Okay na may ganyan siya. I mean, di ba? Andiyan na lahat eh. <laughs> I mean, look at this bike. It's got everything that you need. Right? You're ready to go on an adventure. Everything's nice and proper. Everything's nice and taut. Nicely done. I'm trying to look for very cheap parts compared to what we have with the rest of the bike. So usually, makikita ko yan sa ating console or sa ating panels. Now, taking a closer look, everything seems to be in place in terms of quality. Pantay-pantay sila level. Handguards. Take a close look at what you have here with the levers. Oh, ganda, di ba? good quality the mirrors i am undecided pero looks like if there's one thing that i think may be out of place in this adventure bike it probably might be the mirrors ako uh, you know what funny no i hit on mirrors a lot may mga comments na nabasa ko na ano ba klase mirror trip mo zak <laughs> you know what i i found this mirror in amazon basically it's an adventure enduro mirror bilog siya and then meron siyang adjustment dito so this can go down like this for adventure bike i like that i sometimes buy those mirrors nilalagay ko rin sa mga sport nakeds because i think those are really cool the finish of this is pretty nice paint job this day and age sobrang palpak mo ng manufacturer kung yung pintura sa blay although malalaman mo yung pintura kung super high end na makapal those are those yung mga hand sprayed type na paint i have to commend the seat very very comfortable you got some good clearance over here for your puet and actually, dito siya super comfortable. Dito medyo tumitigas na siya. Well, because of the length of my legs in relation to the seat and the height with the floor, di naman ako nagkakaroon ng 
IB effect or EPIC backlog. Issue. The quality of this is also very, very good. So, maraming pluses yung CF Moto 800MT. Pillion seat is also comfortable, although mas on the stiff side siya compared to sa dito. Ito malambo talaga for the rider or the driver. And then your pillion will have a, a stiffer experience sa kanyang puwet. Little detail here with the CF Moto for your backers. Meron kang cushion or padding for the pillion dito sa box. You got panniers. Let's scrutinize the panniers really quick. What I appreciate about the panniers is that meron siyang uka dito, which means you can now have the bags closer to the body, so hindi siya parang masadong usle, di ba? So you got that thing going on there, which I think is great. In terms of quality, let me show you what you got in here. That's what you get. It's a little box. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Face mask. What <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Dai. Pen alcohol. Okay, you can't be too sure in this day and age. Lagyan ng alcohol. Dito, ma-appreciate ko sa helmet. You know, some people are wary with the stock boxes, di ba? Parang some say, ah, manufacturer, nag-scrimp yan, di ba? But look, look at the detail. Meron rin siyang inner lining. See? That's nice detail that CF Moto did. Yung ibang boxes, recta bakal eh, di ba? So this one, they put inner lining. And if you feel it, ah! Para siyang mahal, mamahaling lining. Hindi siya parang felt paper na mapupunit na mabibili mo sa National Bookstore. It is aluminum because hindi siya Japex aluminum. Yung rivets niya talaga may saisay. So those are the rivets. You have the rivets in the back, in front of where that is. So ano ba yung purpose of rivets? It's, it's where the thing joins, di ba? Sa, sa aluminum sheet metal. Now, I have this suggestion for box manufacturers. And I've always wondered why they haven't done this. Now, feel free to correct me. Bakit walang gumawa ng box na pure carbon fiber? Magiging magaang siya. You don't need to deal with these rivets kasi itong mga rivets na to, dyan pwede pumasok ang tubig eh. And through vibration, and sometimes because nagva-vibrate yung mga joints niyan, like this part, that can loosen up. At dyan nagkakaroon ng structure failure. Quality of this one is pretty good. Pretty good aluminum, pretty good shape. But that's the telling factor. You know, you got good quality aluminum. The lighter it is, the better the for the bike. Of course, you can fit a full face helmet. Shadag, easily. And not only that, Dai, chinelas na blue. Chinelas check for reference. And ngay full face. At kasha den ang isang chinelas. Actually, you can put a lot of chinelas in the side. <laughs> But just so you understand, full face helmet, I am an XL or sometimes XXL, depende po sa brand. But so you see size 11, that's how it goes. Right. Okay, now let's look at the side pan here. So that's where I put my jacket. Same thing, you know, meron siyang inner lining, which I really dig. Thank you, CF Moto, for adding this lining. So that's pretty spacious. So, Chinelas check. Look at how big this is. Yeah, no? Size 11. Oh. Huh? Yeah, yun yung niya. But that's where you access the seats. Ooh, put in along. Very easy access on the battery. And to get under here, we have to take out the Allen wrench so we can take this out. Dai, naman dito sa makina. We are very thorough. Pwede ko lang baklasin yung buong motor, gagawin ko. Pero ba't ko naman gagawin yun? <laughs> okay, let's take a look. And pretty much, this is what we get. So you got a wire here for the socket. And I don't know why there is a wire to the seat. Could it be a warmer of sorts? But uh, that's what you get under airbox. So layout is pretty okay. Okay, so one of the crowning glories or one of the best things na in offer ng CF Moto, at least with some of their bikes, is the fact that they put or can give you good quality TFT display. Look at that. Huh? Oh, huh? Alam mo, dati, para magka-DFT display yung motor mo, abot na million. Ganun range yung, yung mga bikes. Ngayon, look at this. We are at a little over half a million. Meron ka ng ganto, di ba? Whereas you have other bikes in this price range and medyo bland yung ibang mga gauges nila. How big is that TFT display? Let's fire it up. And for a matter of reference, there's my chinelas. See? Anlake, di ba? That's a huge, very, very big TFT display. You're gonna see so much there. Right? Now, this is very easy to operate. 
lahat nasa kaliwa. So ito yung information natin. You have your trip 1, odometer, fuel economy, trip 2, all in one page. Diba? Got your modes. I've been in sport the whole time. So meron din telephone connectivity. As you can see, there's a phone icon over there. There you go. You got some navigation going there too. Press it long. So you got your settings. Meron kang drive mode. So you have sport and you have rain. You got two modes. And I've been in sport the whole time. Let's keep it that way. I think that's what it is. That little socket that we saw in South Korea. That's for seat heating, connections. All of these things that you can find in adventure bikes that na are millions of pesos. It's all, it's all here, diba? In this little package. So yeah, there's language. Now, if you are a reviewer, tas kilala mo yung next reviewer, tapos kung bad trip ka dun sa reviewer na yun, pwede mo lagay sa Chinese. <laughs> Let's hear the horn. Natatawa ako. Let's listen to it. Very, very responsive. So I'm telling you, when you're taking off, pag alis mo, yan yung dating. So I will also commend them. This can be adjusted without you having to unscrew. You can bring it up or down. You just simply make this loose. Make the other one loose as well. And then you can bring it up. Although if I were to critique it, I would request that maybe it would be better if there was only one screw to deal with. Another thing that may, they can maybe do is a lever na shook, aakit na siya kagad, shook. So it's gonna save time, it's gonna have less effort, it's just faster for the rider to adjust. However, ang advantage naman nito, you're manually really making it tight, you are sure that your windscreen is stable. It's gonna be stuck in that position. Minsan kasi pag lever style, the R&D behind that, you have to make sure now with the vibration of the bike and long travels, hindi maglulusin yan through time. I'll show you the lights now. Siyempre, with how CF Moto does things, everything is LED agad. <laughs> diba? Totodo na nila yan. So let's fire it up again. Okay, time. It won't light up. Press the button. There. Ito yung bright natin sa gilid when you need to pass. Here are fog lamps. So those are your lights. Signal. LED. And at the rear. There. CF Moto 800MT. So anong pakiramdam ng motor na ito? Sa lakas, gearing, and torque, maraming madaling ibigin sa 800MT. Pasok bilang tourer, very comfortable. Pero dahil sa power transfer niya and response, yung suspension at chassis, madaling i-picture ito na rumaragarasa sa off-road. Oo, yung 800MT ay mas mabigat by 100 pounds over the KTM 790. Pero evident pa rin yung potential nito para makaupak sa off-road. Bawas bigat lang tayo katulad ng mga boxes or pwede ka rin mag-diet. Etc. Sometimes I feel like I don't have a part. Sometimes I feel like my only friend is the city I live in, the city of vengeance. Oh, MP800 brakes. Let's give it a try. Oops. Ah, good braking power. Okay, so um, CF Moto, I would say, and I've been saying this ever since, and I'm actually predicting it that amongst the brands that originated from China, I said that siguro CF Moto na yung And they have been very consistent with their work. Magandang benta nila, magandang after sales service sa Pilipinas. They have a quite a following already, and it's only been what two, three years since I did the NK400. Buka natin ang yan, ang kanyang rear brakes. Okay. I have some slight skids, but the ABS is doing a good job. So, meron na siyang sagara na brake. There's a threshold that you're really slamming on it. It's not as biting as I would expect the front to be. Let's try the front now. I mean, it's like a pipe pipe. It's like a aso. So, that's the front brakes. The front brakes is, uh... Wow, you know, it's, uh... Lakas. You know what? This is gonna be one of those rare times. Sabiin ko na 
Okay, yes, of course. Given na talaga dapat two brakes ang gagamitin mo parate. But with the MT800, I must say that front brakes pa lang, buhay ka na. Front brakes are gonna stop you fine. Okay, let's try with two brakes. Ay, puso! I'm gonna slam on the on both brakes right now. Go a bit, go a bit faster. Na, super. The front brakes of the of the MT800 is just ridiculously good. You can use it on its own, but I will always recommend always use two brakes. If you're gonna use the rear brakes only, you're not gonna be skidding. Pero parang biten. Now about the front forks. Adventure bike toy. So yung play natin sa harap, obviously you have more travel. It's gonna be dipping. Whereas if you have um, really high performing forks, when you're braking it's gonna gently dip. <laughs> it's a bit jarring. But by all means, hindi po siya deal breaker. I mean, how can you complain? At its price point, di ba? Last time. Eh, pusa! Sitin pusa. Hey, kitty, 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 kitty! Kung nagsasalita lang ang puwit ko, sasabihin nito, ang comfy na upuan ng 800MT. Pang matagalan, hindi ako nasasaktan. <laughs> so, kung usapan KTM 790 Adventure at BMW GS, Nasa gitna ito ng dalawang yon. Hindi siya kasing bulky ng dimmer at mas komportable ito sa KTM 790 Adventure. Diyan lang siya sa gitna sharing yung pros and cons ng dalawa. Lagi nating sinasabi, walang perfectong motor. At kung meron pwedeng gawing hakbang ang CF Moto papunta sa direction ng perfection, ay lagyan na nila ito ng traction control. Napakalakas ng hila ng motor na ito na minsan nawawala yung likod ng gulong. Sa iba, trip nila to at kaya naman. Pero sa iba, pwede maging delix, lalo na sa baguhan. Dalawa ang presyo nito, isang sport version na nasa 515,000 at touring version na nasa 565,000. 50,000 ang difference. So ano ang meron sa halaga na yon? Meron kang spoke wheels, skid plate, seat and grip heaters, up-down quick shifter, at mas makapal na upuan. So sa halaga niya, pwede na rin. Pero sana, magkaroon din sila ng version na lahat may ganyan minus yung seat grip heaters. Makakamenas din yan sa cost kasi sa Pinas, di naman natin kailangan yan eh. Adventure. Maraming anyo at hugis yan. Ito ang isang adventure na may dalawang gulong at presyo na may kasamang maraming alok na mahahanap din sa mas mahal na motor. Ito po ang CF Moto 800MT. Sir Sak po. From Makina Moto Features, Ciao! Say ciao! Ciao! <laughs> Bawat sandali na mga pinagsaluhang ngiti at mga pagturo sa lahat ng pinangarap mo sa ating dalawa. Bakit biglang nabaling na sa ipag?